Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound and that everyone's ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, generally between three and four, this is a family friendly channel. And please, if you like my videos or you like my channel or you just like me, do me a favor and consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, right now I have 1,947 and I'm looking to reach 2,000 by the end of this year. And if you want to support my channel, you could do so at any time by clicking on the thanks button on any of my videos where you can donate $2 or, or more. It's up to you. Okay. Today is my favorite day of the week. It's free Friday, so I'm free to do whatever I want. Uh, before I get into the video, I just want to thank everyone for helping me to reach 12,000 views on my middle rule video, which is my most popular video, and it's still going. So I want to thank everyone for helping me to reach that uh, milestone. Okay, so today is International Day of the Nacho. If you didn't know it existed, neither do I. So I have right here my, my nachos. My from Taco Bell. I figured if I'm going to talk about it, I might as well eat them. I don't know eat nachos that much, but you know, for today it's okay. Okay, International Day of the Nacho is October 21st. It is one of America's favorite Tex-Mex treats. And you get permission to eat nachos for a full 24 hours. So I have permission to eat nachos. This day should be full of nachos in all their delicious forms, covered with just cheese, or with kinds of delicious additions like back, bean, back beans, excuse me, olives, guacamole, chili, you name it. So I have everything on there except for sour cream. I don't like sour cream. Okay. History of International Day of the Nacho. The International Day of the Nacho is October 21st, and its origin centers around Ignacio Anaya, who worked at the Old Victory Club in Piedras Negras in 1943. Sorry if my pronunciation is off. I'm not a Spanish speaker. <clears throat> the Old Victory Club was situated near an American military base. One day, a group of American wives, military wives went on a shopping trip. When they were done, hungry, they approached several restaurants, but all of the restaurants in town were already closed. With stomachs rumbling, the women approached the last open restaurant, the Old Victory Club. As the nachos lending continues, Ignacio Anaya worked either as a chef or a maitre d', and because the restaurant rush was over, there wasn't that much food left to offer the group. Feeling a bit sorry for them, Anaya offered to see what he could find to prepare himself. Eventually, he came out with a new Mexican hors d'oeuvre, a nacho special. Here, some added trivia. Ignacio named the dish after himself because nacho is short for Ignacio. I didn't know that. According to Time magazine, Ignacio sliced and fried some tortilla chips, covered them with shredded cheddar and sliced jalapenos, and put the concoction in the oven for a couple of minutes. <clears throat> the result was a new Tex-Mex classic dish that Americans and Mexicans have enjoyed ever since. So... It didn't originate in Mexico. It originated in Texas, but the, the person was probably Mexican. So it's basically a uh, Mexican-American treat. Okay. International Day of the Nacho Timeline. 1943, as you already heard, nachos are invented by Ignacio Anaya. 1970s, some people don't know this. Texas Rangers pushed a snack. Frank Liberto begins selling nachos at Arlington Stadium, home of the Texas Rangers. And the snack catches on at the event's nacho cheese sauce. 1975, Ignacio Anaya dies. The inventor of the nachos dies and a plaque is erected in his honor in Piedras Negras with October 21st declared International Day of the Nacho. <clears throat> so, how should you enjoy it? Well, go out and get yourself some nachos. Now, I went to Taco Bell, which is near my house. 
Um, you can go to 7-Eleven or wherever, but I prefer to go to, uh, to um, Taco Bell. You know, I'm not promoting them or anything like that, but that's why I prefer to go for, because I like fresh, you know, so I prefer to go to Taco Bell. But, I mean, you can get them anywhere, okay? So, here's a couple of facts about it. More than a quarter of the people surveyed have eaten more than one plate of nachos in a single sitting. 14% after extra cheese, beef is the favorite topping of people surveyed. So these are surveys. 3%. For 3% of respondents, they'll eat nachos, but only when they're drunk. Okay, so what's your favorite nacho topping? So according to this, there's men and there's women. Okay. So... Uh, most people love them. Some people like them. Very few people hate them. So the cheese is the favorite topping. So I'm not going to go through all the um, all the, the charts and all that stuff because it's really not necessary. You know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But I just thought that that would be um, a good video to do. Um, because, uh, today's free, like I said, today is free Friday, so I'm free to do what I want. Just like you're free to do what you want. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Trust me when I tell you it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. The more thumbs up you, you hit, the better it is. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, this is a family-friendly channel, so I try to do it between three and four. And please, do me a favor, if you like my videos, or you like my channel, or you just like me, you think I'm a good teacher, or whatever, or a nice guy, whatever, it doesn't make any difference, please, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, help me to reach my 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you want to support my channel, you could do so at any time by clicking on the thanks button on any of my videos. You can donate as little as $2, but any donation that you can give me is greatly appreciated as right now I haven't gone back to work because of lack of students. So any donation is greatly appreciated. I thank you. Have a nice weekend and I will see you soon.